And now from the fight against crime to the fight for Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin issuing a dare of sorts to the West, saying he's in the war for the long haul. And in televised remarks, he said this. Everyone should know, by and large, we haven't started anything yet. Today we hear that they want to defeat us on the battlefield. What can you say? Let them try. In the face of this bravado, the U.S. is sending its 15th security package to Ukraine, bringing the total to more than $7 billion since Russia invaded. And to that, retired Army Major John Spencer celebrated in a tweet, quote, We, the free world, either can arm Ukraine now and stop Russia or pay the price later. And it is Major John Spencer himself who joins us now. And let's start with Vladimir Putin. His comments indicate that he is in it for the long game. Is that right? And is the free world, as you put it, in, in it also? Yeah, I mean, what does the long game look like for him? He, he's either delusional or been kept in a closet because they're having to let people out of prison to serve in his military right now. He doesn't have anything else to fight with. So that's pretty crazy. He would say, we haven't even begun. Um, they were defeated in in February trying to take Kyiv. Uh, they they don't have much left, although they have small tactical gains. He's crazy, um, and I believe fully to my bones that he won't stop. As in, he won't continue in to try to kill people, um, mass atrocities, kidnapping babies and taking them back into Russia. He won't stop, but he doesn't have anything left. I mean, he's just, the, the emperor has no clothes, um, but we can either stop him now as in we, the West, or we'll see this go much beyond Ukraine, much beyond what we're seeing now. I mean, he's the modern day Hitler, in my opinion. Wow. Well, was Putin, in your opinion, in his remarks, challenging the West to fight Russia on the battlefield? Um, does he want a wider war or is all of this just bluster? Bluster. Um, He's a terrorist with a nuclear weapon. He doesn't, he can't do much more. He knows he can't cross a NATO line where he activates Article 5. He's take, He's a bully, so he's, he's a bully in Ukraine killing thousands and thousands. But he, he knows that he can't fight us. Our military would wipe the floor with his military in days. And that's the NATO military. Well, the Russian military certainly has suffered a huge toll in Ukraine, um, yet its plans to take over the East seem to be according to plan right now. Do you believe this war has shifted in Russia's favor? No, absolutely not. Um, the, the Ukrainians are outnumbered. Um, they, they have been slow to get the weapons, but this announcement by the U.S. and the, the NATO summit recently, fit, over 50 nations uh, against this one nation, this one evil regime, um, He's not winning, no way. Yes, the Ukrainians are outnumbered. Yes, Ukrainians need much more weapons than they have now to defeat Russia in Ukraine and defend their territory, a sovereign democracy. Um, he's got a couple tactical advantages. He took a couple cities that really had no tactical value and he lost thousands of soldiers to do that. And the Ukrainians just pulled back and let them, he destroyed both those cities. There's nobody left in them. So he's, he's conquering the rubble. Well, in the meantime, we do want to get your insight on this. Uh, there is talk of a prisoner swap, Brittany Griner for Victor Boot, also known as the Merchant of Death. Uh, do you support a deal like this? Yeah, absolutely. I don't want any American in that evil place under that evil regime's thumb just by a circumstance. I absolutely support a, a prisoner exchange of any American he owes because he, he actually holds two right now. And before you go, uh, we do want to get your opinion on this as well. We are tracking some reports that Army Reserve and Guard members who refused to take the COVID vaccine are now being denied pay and benefits. What are your thoughts on that? So my personal opinion, I served for 25 years and I had everything from anthrax to smallpox. I mean, part of the military readiness is being prepared to, um, to be ready to fight. So these Reserve and National Guards refused to get the COVID vaccine. So they're not being allowed to drill or do this your yearly two week exercise that they would with other soldiers who are vaccinated. I fully support the administrative actions that are being going against them. Major John Spencer, we appreciate your frankness tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.